good day YouTube. Here with my badge rated to show you how I have everything set up. I will start from the back, work my way to the front. And uh, if you see anything that I should add, let me know or uh, some things I should change. Let me know. Drop a like, subscribe. Let's get it started. From the rear with my trolling motor is the Minn Kota, 50 pound thrust, five speeds. As it shows, you got the five forward and three in reverse. Let's see if I can get that to. There we go. Three in reverse. Um, that arm can go in and out as well. Come down here, have it hooked up here. Of course, when I get in the water, it'll drop down lower, but as of right now, I don't have it on anything. So this arm can go up and down as well. Um, that's my smart battery box. As you can see, I have the trolling motor hooked up to that. As well, my batteries in the inside of there that will power my trolling motor. Starting off here, this is my fish finder battery. I have that um, going up here. I will clean these wires up before I hit the water, but it's just an overview on how I have everything set up. And I have the Garmin Striker. There we go. Got that to turn on. Um, then you come down beside it, I have my Scotty mount with my transducer on the side. That arm can go up and down as well. And of course, once I get out of the water, that will go lower. Um, have my dock rope right here. So when I'm unloading, I can just tie it off to the dock. So that won't go anywhere. When I'm out in the water, I would just have one chair because it just be me for right now. Um, got my life jacket sitting on the back. I'll be wearing that at all times while I'm out there fishing. Um, have my paddle that just came in. Um, this also extends in and out as well. Also have a hook on the end. And this here, not quite sure what that can be used for, but the hook so I need to grab onto something or grab something out the water, I can do that. Work my way on around. Got it registered and everything. Come up to here, got my tackle box. I can have this sitting in the front somewhere, out the way. Have plenty of space by myself. Might add some more stuff in here as well. I got another dock rope tied off right here in the front so I can tie it off in the front and the back when I'm docking at the dock while I'm setting up. Then you work your way on around, I have my I just have one fishing reel right here just for right now. Just to show you how I would have everything set up. Um, I haven't put on the water yet. The goal is to put on the water soon. Um, come around the back. You can see how it is. And um, then we can just go from there. And come around the other side. You can see how we look from this side. Said those are the two rod holders right there. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to use those and how to pose those. Actually, let's go and set the reel in there now to see how it looks. We can do that. So let's do that. See how it will look standing up. This doesn't look too bad. Actually, not bad at all. better than what I thought it would be. And um, so yeah, so like I say, this is all I have. Don't have much. This would be all. This would be everything here. Um, let me see if I can stretch this pole out here. Put it back down here for reference so you can see. That's how long it stretches out. So we got some good length to it. And that's it. Fold right on down. Just store it back down. So, like I said, this is a quick video, but I just want to show you how I have everything set up. And if there's anything I should add, change, let me know. Like I said, these wires will be tidied up a lot better before I um, get on the water. 
just gonna get some double sided tape so I can run it, maybe run it down here somewhere or whatnot, but just make everything look better, neat, cleaner. Like I say, this is a quick rundown of what I have. And if I'm forgetting anything, let me know. If I should add anything, let me know. Once again, thanks for watching the video. Like, share, subscribe. Have a great day.